This is where it all started for me. North Narrabeen is one of the most male-dominated surf breaks on the East Coast. I had to surf against the boys growing up because there wasn't a girls' division in the board riders. I had to fight for my waves, but I thought that was normal. I won a world junior title here and I had seven great years on the world tour. But last year I quit the tour to focus on big wave surfing. Surfing big waves is completely different to anything I've done before. It's a whole new world. It's a full-time job. And everything about big wave surfing is an obstacle. It's like the boys are like, oh, we're so proud of you, but you're, you're nuts. Like, you shouldn't be surfing Jaws when you haven't even like surfed Germans. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to explain why I do it. There's hardly any money in it. It's very dangerous. And traveling around the world, renting jet skis, is very, very expensive. And I'm totally hooked. I'm gonna introduce you to seven of the best big wave surfers on the planet. And by the way, there are women. Pete and the Beast. My goal is to be invited back to the Jaws event. And to do that, you have to prove yourself. So all year I've been pushing myself, surfing big waves no other girls have surfed. And we've been making a movie about it. The movie is called Undone. We've been working on Undone for two years now, and this movie's documenting everything from my new training schedule, buying jet skis, learning to drive jet skis, learning how to tow, towing new waves. It's a whole new set of skills. Basically, I just want to work up to go back to Jaws and try surf there again. That's where it all really started, because in 2016, I got invited to the Jaws event, and I went into the event pretty blind, you know, borrowing equipment, not really prepared, but just wanting to give it a go. So it was one of the best experiences of my life, but I got injured. I was out for six months. I fell off the tool with the injury. A very late drop. You talked about committed. She was beyond committed right there. She saw that, I uh, give her credit, because she saw that she was going to get air. Uh, she was going to eat it big time. So she tried to get out the back, but you saw her. I body. got absolutely smashed there. You know, going in that Jaws event and getting injured, put me on a completely different path and opened my eyes to big wave surfing and I'm done documenting that whole journey from that first session there. It's a super exciting opportunity to push the boundaries of like a surfing really and with a somewhat unlikely character for a lot of people I suppose. I think that makes it all the more cool. Yeah, but that I'm very first very one. Lucky. I thought you were I thought you were dead, hey. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's been with me on all these trips and, um, you know, he's probably seen the difference between my first trip down to these waves and I was so insecure and, I mean, I just felt like I didn't belong there yet and I felt like I kept thinking about what other people would think and, you know, some comments that guys would make and be like, oh, do you have your big boy pants on today? Or I think I got in my own head and was like, oh, I shouldn't be here, but it's like, you have to start somewhere. You know, and the more that I would go, the more, you know, it just felt normal. I guess we're chasing shallow, remote, slabby waves, um, and that's a pretty untouched area in women's surfing especially. I don't want to just be showing up to these waves and feel like a liability. I want to be there and have people like, oh, there's Laura, she's, she's here and she's doing a thing. I wanted to make the movie because I, I want to get back into that event at Jaws. You know, I've had to lift expectations if I can hold my breath, if I can train and get ready for these waves, I can do it.